Hi, my name is Hamilton Glass. Hello, my name is Austin Miles, and Hamilton and I co-led In Plain Sight Storytelling Through Pattern Making. Um, during the Underground Railroad, African Americans used quilts to communicate with each other up and down the Underground Railroad, and they were communicating in plain sight to escape to freedom. Um, and inspired by these uses, we designed this program and worked with Girls for a Change, it's a girl action team, um, to explore storytelling through pattern making. We wanted to get the girls to create uh, personal pieces that told their narrative. This really was a spinoff of a larger project earlier in 2017 where the girls got to create a large mural on First and Broad Street in downtown Richmond where they designed um, a mural that talked about their narrative. And so uh, we thought it was really important to create something where the girls had an individual voice and then we thought that this medium was a kind of a perfect way in doing that. And so the girls had the opportunity to create a two foot by two foot uh, multimedia quilt in which, uh, which the girls use mediums that included beads, pa uh, patterns, um, fabric, fabric mm -hmm. um, any magazines, anything we could kind of like get our hands on for them to use to represent themselves and be able to tell this, this story, this narrative of themselves. And also during um, the program every week, we felt like it was extremely important for the girls to see black women who are currently practicing in quilt making um, today. And so we did this in a segment titled Artists of the Week, where we shared images and introduced to the girls artists um, and, and different ways of making patterns and different ways of storytelling through the media of quilt making. And we felt like this was very important, important because um, well, for, for one, for representation purposes and the fact that they're seeing black women out, putting their work out there, presenting their work and sharing it, um, especially via quilt making, and then also for them to learn different ways of how to share their stories and to share their voice um, through the same medium. Absolutely. And the voice was the really important part. Um, and we kind of focused on that by having them present every week. Um, through art, through color picking, through sharing the, their weekend or, or just something that happened to them that, that week. Because we really wanted to get them um, ready for being able to speak publicly about their work. And that was something that was a really big thing to Austin and I. Also, we really wanted to have this work travel and be able to go to different galleries um, in Richmond so that the girls could present their own, you know, their own work and have their own voice in doing so. And so we were fortunate enough to be able to get the work into the Black History Museum, Art 180, in 1708, where the girls got to come uh, for an hour and kind of explain their work to the community.